Is that my teammate? What the f Is this guy lagging? I'll be crying if I look like that too, bro. That's fucked up what they be doing to y'all. I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. I'll be saying that's fucked up like, bro. You probably had the full wash and set. Right, so Battlefield 2042. First I had the idea to put this video together like a frag compilation, but I, I think I'd rather talk about it and discuss how I'm feeling with it so far. About that, the game feels great. I love the gameplay and everything feels solid. I have a few issues. Whenever you load into a new game, your specialist is changed and you don't keep the attachments you had in your previous match. The attachment thing is no problem, you could just hit a button and put them on your gun immediately, but the specialist bit is somewhat frustrating. I, like most people, will usually pick the same assault class, save for a few exceptions. Having to manually select it before I deploy or having to die and then change class is sort of annoying. I just want to be able to deploy like I did last time without having to think about hitting a button or anything. I just want to go in and hit the button and then start playing or pick a spot to drop it. You know, battlefield stuff. Another issue of mine is that the game is absolutely buggy and is probably not ready for release, especially as a AAA game. This is fine, that's kind of what a beta is for, so the players can just rip the game to shreds and find every single negative aspect of it or anything not intended by the devs. However, with the release of the game just around the corner, I think it's unlikely that the game will be perfect and shiny and spotless on its release date of the 19th of November. But hey, I'm not a game developer or anything, so I could be totally wrong. The gameplay, as I said, is great, is as if DICE looked at Modern Warfare 2019 and decided to take the feel of that and implement it into Battlefield, not discredit them or say that they copied anything. I think this will be a great entry point for anybody unfamiliar with Battlefield, but familiar with COD or Warzone. The bullet spread seems much tighter, the bullet drop seems much less pronounced, and the movement is very similar, slide cancelling and all. Imagine Warzone, but it's actually fun to play. It was probably the most fun I've had playing an FPS since, like, Splitgate's Prime. Sucks that everyone stopped playing that. The destruction feels a bit lackluster, surprisingly. There were no huge skyscrapers falling down, no buildings collapsing when you shoot them with a tank shell or a rocket. The walls just kind of fall off in chunks. Seeing as this is still a beta, this might not be permanent. They could be totally waiting to pull out all the stops somewhere else. Speaking of somewhere else, Orbital was, to my knowledge, the beta's only map. I enjoyed the map, but it does feel as if there's a lot of dead space. There's a good chunk of the map that is just hills and trees and hills, it's- I, I don't get it. I'd have much preferred at least one more map to change things up a bit, but the point is less about the quality of the maps and more about the overall quality of the game, that of which is very good. Overall, I'm pretty excited to get my hands on the final release, although I still think it might need a little more time in the oven, lest it turn out half-baked. But overall, I'm very happy with the experience of the beta so far, and I'm sure it'll turn out better than Call of Duty Vanguard Lamau.